Hey everyone, welcome back to another Undead World Hero Survival video. So today we're going to talk about the tier list. So this tier list is actually um, a part of our Discord server. So if you guys want to check out the Discord server and you want you want to join that, there is a link in the description of this video. You may actually um, join that one. And to start with this tier list, we're going to start at C, which is going to be Niles. Um, this list, actually, just, you know, a little bit of a disclaimer. I'm not saying that they are really, you know, uh, at C, you're that bad. It's like they are, they are the epic tiers already, and um, they will be leveled up, go, uh, leveled up going to Legendary, to Mythic. But unfortunately, at C, Niles is going to be kind of your weakest of the bunch. He doesn't really deal, for me, I I've, I've actually have used him. Um, he doesn't deal that much damage. He doesn't survive at all. He doesn't have that good evasion on himself. And honestly, for my, for my Sugar Reapers team, I actually took him out of the top five already. So again, he is not um he's he's going to need a lot you know he's i think he's going to need a rework moving forward so that he could go back to the top five for the sugar reapers okay next is going to be our tier b which i'm gonna start with uh, sam sam is um not that bad he actually lacks the you know the he lacks the uniqueness in terms of elevating him as an aoe um unit as you can see here there are other aoe units actually in front of him uh, particularly britney and rock but again he lacks um he lacks something unique in his kit okay so in terms of uh, um firepower i think he's he's there he's average but in, he also has stagger, by the way, and um, yeah, I think I think he lacks a little bit. Um, he he lacks uh, in terms of uh, this one. I think in terms of his call to arms uh, of every eleven seconds, I think this should be more. Uh, sorry, this should be less than eleven seconds. And also, um, what uh, and his HP, the the kicker should actually go lower. Okay, because again, this is a good skill, but again, they need to tweak him a bit. Okay, next would be uh, Jones. Jones, actually, I've been using... Um, it's actually my preference to use him. I like his kit, but again, he is not one of the top in terms of your tanks out there. Okay, so he has self-recovery a little bit. Not like uh, Tyler, which is has which has insane. Uh, 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 what do you call this? Which has insane um, HP recovery and become immune to stat ailments. Uh, he has whirlwind. He has ways of staggering enemies, and he is really your tank. But he lacks, uh, for me, lacks the staying power. Unlike uh, unlike uh, what do you call this? Abigail that. Um, as as her defense, her HP lowers down, she deals um, much more damage, which is actually kind of good for a for a tank. So, honestly, for me, I still use um, I still use Jones, but again, there are other better tanks in the um, this bunch than Jones. Okay, let's go to our A. The A tier will start with. Uh, Start with Lee. Lee's kit for a healer. He actually, uh, she actually heals, um, only one. So apparently, so gives also adrenaline shot to the highest attack power. Then um, heals only the lowest HP, recovering HP at three hundred percent of attack power. So again, she, she does not do a AOE heal. That is why she is actually here at A. There are other um better healers than her. Next would be um here we go Gabriel. Gabriel's kit is one of one of the most interesting to use. Um, um he uh, he has a great synergy with Helen by the way. Uh, with the uh, Helen's uh, skill later, I'll actually show you guys what it is. 
And um, this guy actually breaks formation and rushes distant enemies. Actually has the potential to, to rush enemies at the back as well. And again, he, is a, he for me is a specialized defender. So that is why he is in a RDA tier. Okay, next would be, let's go to Connor. Connor is actually one of our starting um, epics um, in a game. He's actually pretty much decent because he has a starting unit. Very, very, very dependable. Um, you don't. He, he he is a no nonsense guy, so he also gains a shield for max HP for each uh, enemy nearby. So, again, he has tons of survivability. But in terms of um, what we actually, um, what they call this, what we actually need from him, guys, is uh, more or less, I think, the power. He he. He lacks, he has sustainability, but lacks kind of bit of that power for a defender. He specialized more on additional defense, as you can see here. So that is why he is actually average at tier A for defenders. Okay, guys, so next on our list for tier A is going to be Henry. So Henry is again a specialist. Um, not does not really excel that much in uh, what they call this in dealing damage in dealing uh, excess amount of damage. He is actually after like for example this one lowest max HP four in range. Um, he actually goes after um, picks after your you know the the backline units. And also delivers um, quick damage um, with uh, also increased crit. And also has a good passive with uh, increase of SP depending on what he kills. A zombie or a, an enemy hero. And also he, he, he actually is actually, he's actually very squishy. That's my comment with him. Um, if he deals um, average attack. He's very squishy, can't really keep up once he's actually in enemy territory and he is ganged upon, he actually quickly dies. So that is why he is in A tier. Next is going to be Caddy. So another starting epic that we use, we will have as beginners. So Caddy is also a specialist because again, um, the build up for her kit is actually through points and as you as you accumulate points you will be changing your weapon so from assault rifle ap rounds grenade launcher and flame buster so again she her build up actually takes a lot of time sometimes the battle is over and she hasn't finished her what they call this her her build up or her change of weapon and she is actually average and decent enough um, as a starting um, unit or starting epic. To round out tier A, we're going to go to Murray. Murray actually is one of the, the heroes that I like because he 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 is average in, in terms of crowd control and in terms of um, single target damage. Um, spells are more or less uh, geared towards crowd control, but his basic attack is actually, and also his ultimate high single damage skills. Okay, so again, very versatile, very versatile um, hero that is actually very good at tier A. Next, we're going to explore our team S. So team S is actually one of you know. Um, one of um, tiers wherein they're really good. They don't really. They need just a little nudge to catapult them to S plus. So let's start off with um, Weber. So, so Weber Webster. <laughs> okay, so Webster is actually range as a sniper, uh, uh, decent, um, good in terms of piercing and dealing additional. You know. Uh, additional damage to enemies in a straight line. Um, very good, good attack speed, crit accuracy. So he's basically a sniper that has a sniper position at the back. So again, very good damage. Um, uh, small zombies usually he one shot. So again, very good for me. He's going to be good in PvP, but again, all around he's still definitely very good. 
Okay, next is going to be Kieran. Kieran is one of one of the heroes that I like for the Sugar Reapers because of the debuffs he brings. So bleeding, uh, minus forty accuracy, then throws knives as well because he's a range um, hero, and again very versatile, and he also is very good at evading attacks. So. A part of the S tier and you can't go wrong if you have uh, Kieran in your team okay next is going to be Nadim Nadim is one of the interesting characters or heroes that I've seen because he throws out a lot of candy but the effects of the candy differ if you're the em enemy um, you actually obviously take damage so, and you also are stunned Decrease, um, not damage, so de decrease either defense, evasion, or crit. Uh, for this one, performs the skill, increase SP by 2%. And he is actually a debuffer for the enemies and also a healer for your team. So he heals everybody. Okay, that is why he's in your S tier. Next would be um, hmm, Tanya. Tanya is a very good melee um, hero in terms of survivability, good because of her evasion. She also uh, uses, her, uses her spear with AoE damage as well. Enhanced evasion, big damage for a person who, who carries a spear. Um, damage can increase up to four times by consuming all accrued edge points. So again, uh, great damage for AoE, single target, and also great survivability with high evasion or evasion buff. Okay, guys. So next on our S tier is going to be Rock. So Rock is actually one of our top AoE damage dealers. She's actually very um, AoE um, damage specific. Um, very high damage as well. Um and also uh, is very good in most PV PvE modes. Um, for your PvP, she's going to kind of be struggling a bit um, in terms of dealing single target damage because again, she's AOE. If you compare her to Brittany, Brittany has more, more single target uh, in, um, incorporated in her AOE damage. But again, make no mistake, she is one of, again, the best um, AoE damage uh, heroes that we have in the game. As you can see here, um, these are all AoE damage and a lot of hits as well. So this is going to be um, adding a debuff of oil. So 10% um, of fire damage to basic attacks that follow those stacks uh, three times. Okay. Again, I've been using her as well in my team. And for me, she works perfectly. Um, if your preference is either Britney or Rock, you can actually, you know, can't go wrong with either of those two for high AoE damage. Okay, last in our S tier, which is actually one of my favorites, which is Lita. Lita actually, I like her because of the buffs. She, she's only, I think the only one that gives... Um, tremendous amount of buffs so crit rate buffs all eyes twice to block instance of incoming damage for 1% or more of max HP and also has here increased ally boost to 375% attack power so again a lot of boosts from her and her ultimate skill is going to stun and taunt and again very very good hero overall as a support um for i think she's perfect as is um she can stand on her own as well and this rounds out our s tier so let's go to our s plus tier i'm gonna start with uh, um, on the left which is abigail abigail as a berserker you know damage very good um combos well with astra um, especially if um, her HP goes down, then she dies, then she resurrects again, then HP goes down again. Um, deals a lot of damage uh, when HP goes down. That is why she's called a Berserker. And she's very unique for 
that defensive or tank position. Next is going to be Brittany. Brittany actually deals a lot of damage in terms of the frontal assault. Um, staggers enemies. Um, also has a barrier and also contributes to SP. And her ultimate skill actually has a large amount of damage with a with when she calls for air support with 110 attack power for each. Okay, next is going to be Tyler. Tyler, <laughs> I think he's OP. Um, for his survivability alone, the the recovery in HP is insane. He can actually, you know, survive more than your average tank. So he's very good. Um, taunts. That is why he's also good because of his taunt. He's actually like a pseudo defender or pseudo tank. And actually, uh, he is stagger as well and inflicts a lot of damage for a melee. Survivable damage, taunt. What else? No. What can you uh, look for in a melee um, hero? So I think Tyler is going to be your best melee hero in the game. Um, I don't know, up until the next months to come. Okay, next is going to be Helen. Helen for me, again, very good in PvP. For PvE, specialized in select stages actually. But again, with her... Uh, um, with her... Um, resurrection deals a lot of damage hard to kill usually for pvp she's going to be the last to be killed and again if you built her tough enough and you know with a lot of damage she's going to wreak havoc and while you're busy with the others uh, killing others she's going to you know uh slowly but surely take one of you apart um one by one and you won't know what happened eventually so her ultimate skill heals her allies based on 200 attack power and, and the cost of her remaining HP. She has heal as well. So again, very, very good um, hero. One of the top designs or top-notch heroes that we have for this game. Next is the Mother of the Shield. So for Meredith... One thing I could say to her is that she's definitely a very good buffer in terms of giving shields. She's a very tough um, check, especially in a couple of game modes for PvE uh, and also for PvP. Um, I think for the Rumble mode, she's actually one of the best for that mode. And um, again, she's going to shine because she gives a lot. She gives actually a, a shield to all your teammates to or, or to, to her teammates um, as you bring her with that team. So she'll equal to 20% of Meredith's HP. Again, very hard to match this one in terms of a defensive, de a defensive buff. Okay, last would be Astra. Astra so far, for me, I... <laughs> I was actually fortunate to get a lot of copies of Astra. Not with Helen. I only got one copy of Helen. But for Astra, um, he is actually legendary for my team already. And as you can see, um, reduces 5% every seconds of um, attack power. Um, very good in PvE. PvP as well. So this one is going to be damage poison for... Um, zombies and also for non-zombie enemies so but against zombies it's going to be double um the poison uh damage for this one and for this one this is going to be a game changer in terms of his kit so zombie virus um the resurrection for positions one and two is actually very good they're, they're usually the positions for your tanks and for your for your melee um people and um, and he gives bigger buffs to those raised allies. Okay, so um, as you level him up, the HP loss reduced is going to be um, going to lower down, and th those raised and those raised heroes will actually stay longer in the field. And for this one, this is going to be um, an increase on attack speed and also grants ten percent life steal. His kit is really, really insane. Um, 
and again he's very good for both pvp and for pve so there you go guys um hope you, you know if you have any um any suggestions from the tier list if you have any you know placements uh, or wrong placements that you think that would play strong in a different tier you may actually comment them down in the comment section below um this tier this tier list is up for discussion so please give uh, me your insights your suggestions so that we can actually try to figure things out okay guys so thank you very much for staying this far in this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because this helps my channel a lot also don't forget to click that bell icon should you consider subscribing also put a like to this video if you think this is very informative thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here